Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Big Man Boisterous coming to you with some Bronze League badassery out of the Abyssal Caverns. Over here in the left, over here in the top left position on the map, we have I don't know spawning in as the Red Protoss, and down here in the bottom left, we have the Decline spawning in as the Blue Protoss. Um, as this game starts off, I'd just like to announce some stuff that's going to be happening around my channel. Um, I'm going to be organizing all of the different leagued games into uh, into playlists. So, you know, if you just want to watch some Bronze League Badassery like this game right here and have a bit of fun, uh, you can just go into you know the Bronze League Badassery folder and just pick a game out of there. Or if you know, you want to watch some Master Leaguers duke it out, you can go to the Master League Magnificence folder uh, and check that out. Um. And yeah, that's basically just it for the uh, announcements I have to make at the beginning of this video. Uh, it looks like both loose players are going for fairly standard builds. I don't know is actually going for a wall off at his front, which is something that some people do in PvP, but at the same time it's something that I don't really like. I, I don't know, it's just, I don't like it. it. It doesn't seem right to me. You shouldn't wall off in a PvP because... It, it just makes it harder it makes it it seems to make it easier for your opponent to get you off guards um because you know their stalkers can you know just get up on the ramp and it, it, you get better surface area if there's just no wall there you just do it's, it's how it works it's better to have all of your stalkers lined up right here than have like a gateway a pylon and then like four stalkers shooting behind it well you know his eight stalkers are t are shooting at the uh are shooting at your wall from the ramp um so it's something that i don't quite agree with but at the same time on a map like this uh, especially in this base where you can use this uh this little like nook here optimally it's okay yeah you know, it's not something that i disagree with it's just something that i do not personally like to do um and it looks like we have a two racks coming out of the decline so pff, cheesy I, I don't know uh it doesn't look like he's going for any sort of zealots it's not a proxy two racks certainly um and yeah, I don't know quite what he wants to do with these two racks before cybernetics or before cybercore. Uh, it's an interesting choice, I want to say. Not the best choice, really. Uh, we do have the cybercore and a second gateway coming up for I don't know. So, so he's going for something much more standard than uh, this. Which, you know, he's not even like saving up for cybercore. He has four freaking probes queued up. This is Bronze League badassery. I just realized this. This is what this is what I expect when I get Bronze League games. This is what I should expect is a game like this, where you have somebody go for like two gate, no pressure, and the other guy actually doing something that uh, will get him eventually bumped up into Silver League. Um, you know, two two gate after Cybercore, probably gonna drop you know, either a third gate or a Robo facility. I'd expect a third gate, personally. Uh, it, He's dropping a third gate, you know? Who needs tech? Guys, to be honest here, you can win the game with Zealots. Um, granted, it's hard to win the game without charge uh, on your Zealots. It's possible, though. I mean, you know? Eventually, your opponent's going to have to back himself into a wall, especially if you attack his base. Eventually, you're going to get him up against the wall, and then you can kill his army. <laughs> and he does finally drop a Cyber Core at the five-minute mark. A very uh, interesting plan. Actually, going for a robo from the uh, I don't know. So I don't know. This does not seem like the best play to counter uh, zealots because you know what are you gonna get out of the robo? An immortal? Immortals don't do bonus damage versus zealots. That's a bad idea. Um, but then again, just <laughs> I'm not sure how you lose a game against somebody that's going like four rat or four gateway and has. Uh, 100, 200 resources, and isn't researching uh, warp gate. Don't know why he's not researching warp gate. This is uh, this is definitely the ultimate bronze league play. Just four gates. Uh, you know, he he heard about the four gate play, and he was like, I can do that. Oh, he's actually going up to five gates. All right, he heard about the four gate play, and he was like, you know what? Four gates isn't enough for me. I need five gates. Five. Um, so, yeah, uh, we, Warp Kit is wrapping up for, I don't know, it isn't even started for the decline, so that's, that's awkward. Um, just, you know, 
five gates. He's not going to be able to hold back this pressure. Mmm. And we do have a proxy pylon already down on the map for I don't know. So I I think I think he'll be the one doing the proxy pressure or doing the uh, pressure in this game. We have an observer out for I don't know. I'm surprised he's not trying to uh, scout out his opponent. See uh see if the decline is anything interesting going on. You know with his cyber core that's not researching warp gate and all of his standard gateways. Mmm, yeah. Alright, it takes 42 seconds to build a stalker. The cooldown is... it doesn't tell you the uh, actual cooldown. That's annoying. Hmm. Oh, cooldown is 32 seconds. So you are 10 seconds less efficient um, when you go for a... Uh, when you go for this <laughs> 5 gate without warp gate play. Uh, you definitely should not do this. Everybody that's watching, do not do not follow in the decline's footsteps. You don't want to. Uh, we do have the Stalkers moving out, and this army is easily going to get crushed by this one, just because of this Immortal. This Immortal will absolutely destroy his opponent. Uh, at, there's no question about it. Um, and the Immortal is just, you know, they're, they're all just chilling right now, and uh, eventually... There we go, they're moving out. And, oh god. Oh, the Immortal is not going to get a prime angle here. The Immortal is actually going to get sniped. Oh god, the Immortal. The Immortal. Immortal. Oh well. Oh well. He, Tim, his army's way better. Um, we do have three Stalkers at the top of the ramp. Uh, doing, doing well. Not even, you know, screw attacking. We, uh, we're down on the bottom of the ramp. We don't need to go up. Uh, and... Yeah, the decline is screwed. He did just uh, chrono boost out of four gateway, out of like five gateways. Uh, the probes are coming out, so he might actually be able to hold off this wave of pressure. But in the end, he's dead. Uh, this is way too many probes lost. He is up to thirteen workers lost. That is awful. You don't want to lose thirteen workers this early in the game. Uh, we do have the stalkers moving up, not quite getting the optimal engagement angle. Just uh, barely all of them even being able to shoot, really. Um, and it looks like he is going to be able to uh, win this pressure fight right here. And actually, four stalkers are about to come out. Uh, he's not even really producing off this fifth gateway, probably because he doesn't have any workers. How many workers does he actually have? He has ten. Ten probes. So he has he's produced like four probes. He, on average... He's uh, created four more probes than he had at the beginning of the game. Pretty good, pretty good uh, worker production right there. Um, and yeah, he's he's a goner. This uh, this three gate pressure is absolutely going to demolish him. Uh, he did get a robo, but he's not making anything out of that robo. I think an immortal could really lynch. The, he could really, uh, you know, linchpin this game in form and just absolutely uh, just win the game basically. Immortals are really, really good against stalkers. Uh, they can get targeted down fairly easily by stalkers, but they're just so good. Uh, we do have this one probe. He's making the run for it. He is a gold mining probe. Yes. All right. So uh, I don't know. Is successfully mining off of this gold mineral? Did he even mine from this gold mineral? Oh, yeah, he did. I thought he mined from the other one across the map. Nope, he just mined from the furthest possible away rich mineral field on this mineral. Uh, location and yeah this uh this is gonna be a win for uh for i don't know there's what four stalkers and uh 14 probes 13 probes ra a rapidly declining amount of probes against 12 stalkers at this point this is over for the decline and he does gg out uh, and there we go so guys uh, if you want your games commentated, send them on into boisterous 2 at gmail.com. And if you want any uh, any more boisterous action, head on over to youtube.com slash user slash boisterous sc2. Anyway guys, this is Boisterous signing out.